my name is Kirk Bartan, and I'm going to give you my opinion on how we can get the country back open again. First off, we need a clear mechanism to test. Test quickly, test effectively, and test often. Uh, we hear the medical experts talk about contact tracing and isolation. How the hell are you going to do that if you're not able to test quickly and easily? Second is we need to assure the public that the government is looking out for us and is able to test and isolate when found. And if we're not aggressively testing everybody, every city, everywhere there's an outbreak or there's a notice that, that we're not doing everything we can. And if we're not doing everything we can, how do you expect our country to go back to normal? Um, who's going to go support the local businesses, bars, restaurants, and, and dine-in places or areas where gathering and people socialize? If there's no confidence that we know who's sick and who has the, who has the virus, and then how we can actually get people isolated and treated if that's the case. If we don't think that our government is able to track and trace all that information, how are we supposed to get back to normal? Uh, I'm including a link from my cousin, uh, Gareth Marshall, who's a doctor in Boston, Massachusetts. He has a very simple solution that will get us back to work straight away. And that is everybody wears a mask. If you go out in public, wear a mask. And that way you're protecting others and, and in some level you're having some degree of barrier so that you can protect yourself to some degree. Now it's not a, a sure and fire way to do it, but if everybody's wearing a mask then nobody is actually contaminating anybody else. So better hygiene, better sanitation, washing your hands, um, not shaking hands, uh, at least in the near future. But how can the public go back to normal? If we don't have assurances that we can find and isolate people, how are you going to contact trace if you find somebody to isolate them if we're not testing? We need to be aggressively testing everybody in this country. And if we're not, how do we expect this virus to just go away? We need to either shut everything down, like everything down for four weeks, let this virus burn itself out, or we don't do that and we find aggressive measures for testing and continually being able to do that. Because if you test, that doesn't mean tomorrow you're not gonna be infected. We need to be able to consistently do this so that we know that our children, our families, our parents, or whoever are safe. And that we will know that if somebody gets infected that we can monitor that and find out. Second, if we do get infected, what is the procedure? How do we protect each other and how do we get treatment? If we don't have a clear way to treat each other, what makes anybody think that just because um, the federal government opens up the government that uh, people are going to go back to work? Who's going to go to the bars and restaurants and social places if we don't have confidence that we can identify people that have this disease and, and correct that and isolate them? How do we do that? I, I, I don't see an answer in the, I mean, great, if we can test with these um, uh, enzyme things and, and, and finger pricks or whatever, that's great. That's a point in time, but testing is not a solution. That's an identification process. And then what do you do once you test somebody? So to me, until we figure those things out, how do we expect to logistically and rationally go back to work and be normal if we can't figure out how to identify who has this, um, who has the virus and then where it is and how it's getting contained, uh, other than letting it burn itself out? Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you agree or disagree with me, please post below. Thanks, and I, I'm including that link to my cousin, uh, the article about face masks.